What's up, Future Fire? Zach Zach here. We got a deck profile for you guys. This deck profile is for Hero World, specifically the Dark Hero Bill, featuring the buddy um, Shadow Heart Schwartz. Shadow Hero Schwartz. No, Shadow Hero Schwartz. SP looks pretty baller. We'll see, as we've seen in my uh, Pack Wars video, where I lost because this and another SP were both played somehow. But I'll let my buddy take it away. All right, Future Fighters, here we go. Uh, obviously you saw the buddy, so I start with the buddy set, Shadow Hero Schwartz. Uh, the skull cost is pay one gauge and discard one dark hero. Uh, when he enters the field, he can destroy one monster on your opponent's side. And then after his attack, he bounces right back to your hand. So I guess, is he like the main focus of the deck for Shadows? Uh, he's the main removal. I wouldn't say he's the main focus, but um, because you're losing advantage by your monsters leaving, you want your opponent to lose advantage too. I play three. Violet Lord, or Violet Valor, Lord Crow. When he enters, you get a gauge, and then when he attacks, if, he's, if there's another dark hero at the end of his battle, he leaves him. I think a lot of, some of the dark heroes in this set have that ability, right? So they can uh, they, stay on the field they, if you attack. Uh, he's the only one that stays on the field if there's no dark hero. But there's another dark hero, dark hero, uh, Darkness Fist Gwen. He stays on board if the attack doesn't hit. But he's also got Shadow Dive. So normally, most builds I've seen play three. I play four because uh, our locals has a lot of people that play things that either move to the center or have big butts. So I play four. <laughs> I play three, Sacrifice Iron Moon Slash. When he enters, you can discard a Dark Hero in order to deal one damage to your opponent. I usually don't use that effect unless I put them, I'm trying to put them in range for a kill. But uh, he's a 6-2, six, six so he beats over any walls that I might run into and I can't remove with uh, Schwartz. Yeah, a lot of the Dark Heroes, the defense seems kind of irrelevant. <laughs> Defense is irrelevant, you're just going for the kill. I play 3, the Scar. He's a 4, 3, 4. Not that his defense really matters, because he's not going to leave anyway. Or he's going to leave anyway. He's got that 3 crit. But he's got that 3 crit. Uh, then I play 4 Mock Breakers. Pay 1 gauge, counter to call him to the center so he can even attack. Okay, he's a redirector. He acts like a shield since I think you guys only have one shield in Hero World. Uh, we have one shield and then uh, one uh, reduced by two. Oh yeah, the, the Brave Machine. Yeah, but I prefer this over the reduced by two because it's a guaranteed block unless they got Penetrate. Yeah. I play two Combat Nebit. Combat Nebit, when he and uh, if he's in your discard pile and you play a size two or a greater dark hero, he can enter from the drop zone once per turn. That's pretty helpful. Oh yeah. It means like it means you'll never have if you play a size two, you'll never not have two things to attack with. Yeah, that's pretty helpful, and it's really good for hundred demons too, because he does have that hundred demon attribute. <laughs> Yeah, so if you're playing a 100 demon deck that uh, features some dark heroes, heroes, you might as well splash at least one in there. I have two Thief Cats. You pay one gauge, that's his call cost. And at the end of the battle, he goes to the bottom of the deck. It's a one gauge size zero with size three, zero, crit. three crit. With one gauge, big deal. Uh, now for my spells. I play two, fighting for the sake of others. It's the Dragonic Grimoire for Hero World. Okay, they got this in the set. That's good. Discard your hand, draw three. So yeah, Grimoire. If you're five or less life, pretty helpful. I mean, it's pretty standard, I think, probably just to run at least two. And since Dark Heroes don't really run much defense-wise, uh, you're going to hit five life quick, so... That with, plus with shorts, you're discarding your hand, and your Dark Heroes are killing themselves anyway, so... So it's like, kill me so I can get the heads up. Leg up, something. Who's, who's cards are these? I play three, but he is of the lowest rank. When a size one or lower dark hero is destroyed, I uh, counter, cast it, and you search out a dark hero item or monster. But only one can be played once per turn. It's a good refund. It lets you tech into, I guess, the, your computer, right? 
So it allows you to get the options and stuff next turn? Yep. Whatever you need for next turn lets you set yourself up. I play four. I'm finished with you. We saw this in the TV show, yeah. Uh, you destroy one dark hero monster in order to gauge one to draw it. Oh, no. There you go. Different card. I'll take it off. So, uh, if you have something that's either going, if you have something that's not going to go to discard pile or something you don't want back in your hand, or say something stayed on the field and your opponent's attacking it, you can just sack it off for a gauge. Okay. Or if you need a gauge for a spell or something. I play three first dark hero hideouts. Once per turn, when a dark hero enters, you may draw a card. You can only have one of these set at a time. This is probably an extremely important set spell. Extremely important. <laughs> when it gets null, it hurts. I should pick Jack. Play four. I've seen through your moves. Yeah, the, the standard null if your center is open. It'd be cool if they give different art variants for that. They should. Maybe eventually. Then one of the staples of the deck for Sneak Judgment. Uh, two gauge to equip. Um, when you have a dark hero on the field, it gets shadow die. And then when a dark hero monster leaves your field during your battle phase, you draw a card. Uh -oh. That's super important. <laughs> so it's it, it's it's about as important as a, a set spell. A set spell. Well, getting those both off together is. Oh yeah, oh, no. a plus two every time right. something leaves the field. Can you get them from me? I play two Shadow Requiem. It's my other weapon. It's a 6 3 for a 1 gauge and 1 life. Yeah, playing a 2 copy is pretty good. I mean, it hits those numbers if you are in need of that matchup number. Uh, Raging Spirits, I found, need Shadow Requiem too. Yeah, that 6 number hits them perfectly. Oh, yeah. And then the killer. The finisher. Impact. Infinity Death Crest. When your field is empty of monsters and you have one dark hero item equipped, you pay two gauge to deal four damage. Cannot be reduced. So good. That's really good. And that's probably why you want to play that spell that kills yeah, your monster. Just in case you have Nebit out. Yeah, if he didn't hit successfully. Want to, you definitely want you definitely don't want Nebit on board if you're trying to impact. So you want to finish him off. Or the Shadow Diver too, right? Is yeah, Shadow Diver. Shadow Diver, if it doesn't hit, you kill it off and get a gauge. And this is extremely cheap, so it's not it's like it's cheap. difficult to get off. Plus you have some of the synergy with the deck built in where you get the gauge when you play the moss there. And you got I, there's no hyper energies in this variant, probably because it doesn't really need it. doesn't it. really need it. Everything is relatively cheap, and they have a gauge engine in and of themselves, just with uh, Lord Pearl and uh, the Unfinished with You. That is the Dark Hero variant for Hero World. Um, leave some questions down below if you have any questions about this deck. This, here, Dark Heroes are very new, so there's probably a lot of things we, we could still figure out about the deck. Probably. Uh, stuff we're definitely going to figure out today. I haven't really today. played it yet. So Hot once I play right there. Yeah, this SP though. Once I play it some more, I'll probably revamp it, create my side deck, all that. Yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, I might post stuff, who knows? But uh, as always, thanks for watching. Aqua life.